So my name is Jaden, and for the past two years, I've been sailing with my family on our sailboat. A week ago, I had the opportunity to fly across the world to live on a sailboat called Zatara. On this boat, there's Jack, Finn, Kate, Glory, Keith, and Renee. We sailed from Barcelona, Spain to Ibiza and ended up catching a nice mahi along the way. Follow along to see the upcoming experiences I have living with a family I just met and eventually crossing the Atlantic with. We are on passage right now to go to a grocery store. We're kind of all out of fresh produce and stuff like that. I wanted to talk about something in this video that is very common amongst people who live on boats, especially younger people who live on boats. And I'm gonna be asking a few of the Whitakers kind of their experiences with romance while living on a boat, as well as my experience with romance while living on a boat. It doesn't really work out just because you're moving so much. Online relationships are really hard, especially when you don't know the next time you're gonna see each other is. And also, a lot of the times, people that you meet who live on boats are a little odd. Honestly, that's the truth. Now with that being said, that doesn't mean that I haven't had a couple of flings here and there, but they've never lasted. relationships in the past seven years of living on a boat have you had? I've had a lot and you know I've tried with a bunch of them I've tried to you know keep it close keep it tight but it, it's so hard unless you want to do long distance online I'm not a fan of long distance you know I would say yeah that it is a factor in me wanting to leave the boat but at the same time I'm just as capable as finding a woman and having her live on a boat right but so it's hard when you live with your family on a boat yeah you know you say yeah I live on a boat come check my boat out and then you bring the girl back and then she sees you live with your parents <laughs> yeah. it's just a little it's a little disappointing <laughs> for sure I'm not too worried about it you know if something happens it happens I'd love to see where it goes mm -hmm. and that's boat life for you that is. It's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks it's always prettier on the other side. It's not. It really isn't. But I wouldn't let that take away from the amazing experiences you can have right. with other people. You're going to find a girl. You're going to love that girl. You're going to get mm -hmm. married. And then you're going to make... Babies. Babies. Have children. Romance on the boat. A driving factor for Jaden to be out here, I know she doesn't want to say it, is because she actually has had a biggest crush on both of the Whitaker boys yes, both of them. this whole time. And she hasn't been able to decide. It's been kind of a big love triangle, and so she's really out here to see. We made it to a new anchorage. We're going to go get some groceries, and I'm going to bring you along. How has romance been for you on a sailboat? Interesting. Yeah. Um, small relationships that last about a month. Uh, I've only been in two, but <laughs> you know, it's it's not easy. Would it's you not... say it's exhausting? It can be whenever you uh, when you meet someone who's really awesome Whoa. and you mm -hmm. want to spend more time with them. It can uh, definitely be annoying. Is it a driving factor for you to s 
do something else in life? No. Okay. I don't really chase women, so. Unlike Jack. Well, we've always liked uh, child brides, order of child brides. Yeah, So, but do you feel like being out on a sailboat has made it harder for your kids to have romantic relationships? No, they've got a girl in every port. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and that's the <laughs> answer. I like, I like to see young love. I like to see passion. I like to see people spreading their rings and doing those kind of things. And in the same breath, I, you know, this ain't a hookup society either. And even the heartbreak. You can't have one without the other. And then there's, so there's lots of heartbreak and there's lots of drama that goes along with that. But, but if you raise your kids mature enough, I think they can get through that drama and still be friends or still be acquaintances and, mm -hmm. and work through those issues and, and uh, make it happen. I have not had a relationship on the boat, nor have I had a relationship on land. I am single and... Are you ready to mingle? I don't even know if I'm ready to mingle. Actually, sure. That's okay. Sure I am. And there's not many guys out here. Yeah. That's what I have to say about it. And I just haven't found a guy. To the town we go. Do I like Ibiza? I, I think Ibiza is kind of, kind of cool. How do you feel about little kids? I like little kids. He likes little kids. Yeah. Ah! It's so cold. So I gotta wear a sweater out here, guys. No, but if you come to Ibiza, get a shirt where you can see your belly button. <laughs> You got a Canada sweatshirt. I just thought it was cool. I also got some jeans, so shout out if you come to Ibiza. It's called like Holala. 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 The guy who works there, his name is David. Shout out, David. Shout out, David. David you're a legend. I got some really cool shorts. We'll show you. Later. Three, try on haul, and three, two, one. We got this all at a vintage store called Halala. Overpriced thrift store, but it's okay. It was super overpriced, but um, here we are. Here we are, and we love what we got. Finn got some really cool. I think these are 501s. Yeah. Oh. Squat test. <laughs> are they squat proof? <laughs> ah! What's going on, guys? Coming to you live from the 70s. I'm the white Eddie Murphy. Jack and I are gonna jump in. We haven't jumped in all. <laughs> It's very cold, but we're it gonna is do not. it. Yes, it is. But we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, I guess you died. It's too bad. Oh my gosh. So the sun is just setting and obviously learning how to live with a different family comes with some challenges here and there. I mean there's been one like hiccup, um, I guess just like some miscommunication and stuff. One thing for sure is I didn't come on this boat for a boy, I didn't come on this boat for romance, I came on this boat to 
I don't know, I guess switch up life a little bit. Meet some cool people, live with a cool family, have cool experiences, cross the Atlantic. That's what I came here for. They're all starting to feel kind of like family. And it's crazy that it's already happening in just a week. And like we all have said, romance on a boat is really hard. It's tough. A lot of the times it never really works out anyways. <laughs> to every- <laughs> Hey! Hey, stop <laughs> Touch on something and- Holy crap. Are you- are you okay? Subscribe. 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 Oh. Like and subscribe. Lesh. Whoa. Okay, that's enough, Jaden. No one's shaking your butt on the internet. She doesn't like being tickled. Digital relationships it's suck. Not it. It's not it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This better go viral, Jaded. Didn't she just say. turn 18? <laughs> she just turned 18. That's why what she I'm came out. What are you talking about? <gasps>